Hey, so we are about to start a hair transformation <clears throat> because look at this, it's needed. And tomorrow night we're going out with the girls. We can't look like this. So I'm going to do it together. I'm going to show you what I do, how I do it, what I use. And if you watched my last Home Bargains haul, then you would have had a little glimpse into what we're doing. We are going to be, I'll run through, bleaching the roots, going pink on the roots, white on the ends. Let's see how that turns out. Okay, so we might split this video up into parts because it might be a bit long. We'll see. Might do bleaching the roots in this one, going pink and white in the next one. Look out for that. Okay, so let's start. So we're going to mix our powder bleach and we're going to be mixing that with peroxide. I'm going to use, where are we, 20 vol. That might seem low, but I want to leave it on for as long as I can and I want my scalp to be as comfortable as it possibly can. So I know 40 volt will lift faster, but it hurts. So I'd rather use a 20 volt and leave it on for double the time. At least then I'm not screaming. So, I mean, we're using Jerome Russell because I didn't have time to go to Sally's and this needs doing. So I'm just going to start with one packet. We are only doing the roots. What are we looking? We're only about a centimetre. You know, maybe it's a centimetre and a half. So we're not covering that much and we are not going to be overlapping. Don't want to damage, don't want to break off. Okay, okay, so we'll see how one packet goes. If we need to mix another one, we'll mix another one along the way. Okay, so we're just going to mix it with our 20 ball. And we are going to eyeball this. No need for measuring. Okay, we are at home. We can break the rules. Just slide on a brush. Mm, let's go with this one. Okay, cookie. So, we're going to mix. We're going to see what consistency. A lot of hairdressers like their quite thick consistency. Just because it gives more, you can be a little bit more accurate with placement. Doesn't run as much. Me personally, I like it to be a little bit more like a, like a thick moisturiser consistency maybe. So it's that slight little bit runnier. Um, you know. I don't like working with it when it's a bit too stiff. Anyway, on in the bleach department, hey. So I'm just going to add a little bit more peroxide. Get that consistency that I prefer. Just whatever you like working with, really. I mean, if it's going to be on for a long time, you don't want it to dry out. That's the other thing. So... Just enough peroxide because once it starts drying out, it stops working anyway. So, and I think, you know, that that consistency, that's gonna work for me. Okay, so we're gonna section. Okay, as we should look at that greasy, greasy. I won't tell you how many days worth of grease that is because that's. Pretty disgusting. I'm just going to look down here in my mirror just to get my sections. Be back in a tick. So we've got our one. We're going to do it in four. So we're going to do front, two at the front, two at the back. And we're going to go in slices. Go all the way down. Flicking back as we go. And then same one the other side. At the back we're going to yeah, do the same. Start at the top and work our way down. And I think, do you know what? We might actually start in the back. Because at the back we are a little bit, have a bit more of a root. Can you say it's a bit longer at the back? Because sometimes when I'm not feeling like doing the whole head, I'll just do it on the front. A bit naughty, but... We do as we do. All right, so we're going to start at the back and 
we are just going to start if you can see i'm not sure if you're going to i'll put my head down and just see if you could see one second so can you see we're going to go down at the back and we're going to go triangle down triangle down okay okay right so i'm just going to start and down the pattern down the pattern at the back feel as we go okay feel as we go that's the thing about at home we just have to feel as we go because we have not got eyes in the back of our head so i'm just making sure that i'm feeling with my brush that once it hits the skin i'm then only brushing out as much so that inch because it's a bit bit more root at the back okay so around the front where that centimeter centimeter and a half around the back we're a bit worse off I normally wear contact lenses, but I forgot to put them in this morning. And then I already sat down and I thought, no, I can't be bothered going to get them now. We're just gonna we're just gonna work with glasses that keep falling down our face. The only way is up. Right, I've got that line down the back done. Okay, okay. So I'm just going to keep picking up sections on on a diagonal and work my way down. Let's see. I'm tilting my head in the hopes that you can see. Okay, so I take a section. Work your way down. I think the postman's just been, yeah. Look, I do hear something hitting the um, hitting the doorstep. We'll see what that is later on. Oh, it'd be Bill's, won't it? He can keep hold of them. Right, so that's what I'm doing, going down the back, taking little sections. Okay, I'm going to repeat this all the way down the back, both sides. When we get to the front, I'll come back to you. Okay, so I have finished bleaching the two back sections and now I'm going to start on the front sections. I'm going to show you how to do this side and then I'll come off camera and I'll do this side. Okay, okay, so just like I did the back, I'm going to start and I'm going to come in a triangle coming forwards so that as I do each section I can push back. Okay, okay. Right. So I'm just going to make sure that I bleach every little section back and front. So we, at the start of each section we'll paint the root on that section. Then we're going to slice, pick up, pull back. So we've got some tautness so that we can see what we're painting and then only paint on the root. No overlapping onto the blonde. We do not want breakage. You can pull slightly down if you have that little band of warmness that you're wanting to break up anyway. But So we're going to paint. Paint our section. Slice our section. The thinner we go, the better. Takes a little bit longer, but at least you know every piece of hair is getting the same treatment. Everything will be, you know, consistent. It's not going to be any spots that we've missed if we do it this way. Okay, so. Paint down, get in there, slice, there we go, nice clean slices, and then paint off, there we go. Now with this, I'm actually going to keep this bleach on quite a long time, because we're going to go be going pink 
on the roots so when when you put pink on to a base you really want that base to be as white as possible if you put pink onto like an orange base you're mixing orange with pink so you're not going to get like a real vibrant pink you're going to be getting more like a dark peach kind of color which is nice if that's what you're going for but that's not what we're going for today we want pink so we need more of a whiter base so we really need to be keeping this on for as long as possible and as always we're going to be doing the banana trick which is this is where you can see if you're processing if you process long enough so if you look at where you've bleached and it looks like the outside of a banana we're not done okay we're, we're two more like a level seven level eight we're trying to get to that level 10 we want maximum lift so then we look at where we've bleached and if we look like the inside of a banana we're done we have hit maximum processing we've hit where we want to be we have hit a level 10 and we can wash off so always remember if you're wanting if you look and it looks like the outside of a banana you're more like a level seven eight if you look and you the inside of a banana you are more like a level high nines ten okay okay obviously that depends on your hair strength because you always want to be trying to maintain the integrity of your hair so if you don't think your hair can take it to a 10 don't push it because it's rather you'd rather have darker hair and have hair than be trying to get it light and have no hair left okay okay right i'm going to take my glasses off for this last bit i'm going to go in aligned <laughs> like i said i normally wear I normally wear contact lenses but mommy brain got me today we got to put them in we can't go back over in the day we just got to keep pushing on <laughs> ah, mommy life did i mention right so i get quite a lot of hairs down here so we want to make sure we get all of them we want to paint that base okay we don't want to be having blonde hair and brown sideburns not the look we're going for okay okay so we've got that whilst the glasses are off i will make sure there we go mr spot that i got all that hairline being a mummy i wear my hair up a lot so let's make sure we've got that hairline okay okay right so that is how i do front i'm going to go do this other side and we'll be back so i've got got all the roots done we're all bleached we only had to use the one packet not bad saving money all the time we have another three packets to use in the future not bad so as i said we are going to try and get these roots to lift as much as they can within reason we do not want to break our hair off so you know if we get it as close to this as we can we want as light of a base so that we can put our pink on and get it as vibrant as possible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave this on from i'm going to see what it looks like after half an hour maybe just push it to the 45 we'll see how we go okay so We've had the bleach on our roots now for 30 minutes with 20 ball as well. And if you can you see, let me get my end of my colour brush and I'll swipe a bit away. That has lifted pretty well. I'm quite happy with that. That to me is inside of a banana. Yeah, banana. <laughs> inside of a banana yellow so i'm quite happy with that i don't really want to push my hair any further i think once we 
um, but the pink over I think that will be quite vibrant on top of that base we haven't got much orange left in there so I think we'll be okay I'm gonna go wash it off and um, show you how the roots look after that okay so we are back let's have a look and see what the roots look like Fancy. So, I don't think that's that bad. I think we, uh, you know, that's lifted pretty well for half an hour with a 20 ball. Not bad. And I think that it worked quite well having that like blue toned bleach as well. Obviously, wet blonde hair looks way darker than blow dried blonde hair because what molecules within the cuticle make it look darker once they're out it's lighter so yes this might look a little bit dark but once we've blow dried it's a lot lighter right let's have a brush see what it looks like when it's brushed okay so we're all brushed through we're looking pretty even and uh, we've got a nice base to work on for the next step of our blonde white transformation um i think this video is long enough for this section of bleaching the roots so i'm going to see you over in part two where we add the color see you there bye